on Christmas Day 2007 in the San Francisco Zoo. Three men effed around and two found out. As for the third, well, three you can't get a life lesson if you don't have a life. The three men... Three, two, one, let's go. Unorthodox reactions, unorthodox intros. How you guys doing? It's good to see you. Welcome back to another, you guessed it, reaction. This time and we are back again with... You can see we are back again with Casual Geographics. How Camel's bad habits can put you in a coffin. Be careful. Honestly, I feel like... Casual Geographic just instills my my mentality of just staying away from every animal. Even the ones that don't look dangerous, just I don't trust them. It's just you don't know what they're capable <laughs> nice. of. Okay. I just don't trust any of them. No hundred percent. You don't trust any of them. But before we get into the video, make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, do all that stuff. We still appreciate it. Please, I know we don't get on people enough, but we're gonna try. Please keep doing it. And thank you so much. And without I don't want to take you off the line. But I feel like you. This guy into it. Is there? Just check the camera, yeah. Okay. Good shot. Okay. Good. Sorry, I have to. Did you what? see? There was a story about the guy who was like a lion hunter in it, and he just like for fun in it, and he was some fat guy, and he killed a lion, and then the lion's brother came and ate him. No, dude, it was like literally like the past three days. I what saw was it. this? Obviously, probably somewhere where they have lions. No, but well, where was this news article posted? I didn't see. Oh, I don't know. We could, I can literally search it up and probably show you guys in a bit. But I'll search it up before the video ends and I'll show yeah. you. But yeah, it was crazy. Because I think I remembered one about like. Uh... Yeah, but I was gonna say I think I remembered one about a tiger. Oh, where like the okay. guy like injured the tiger and then obviously he didn't kill it and yeah. the tiger tracked him down and away from him until he was like asleep or something and then went in went into his like camp and just freaking decimated and killed him Damn. yeah yeah see that's what i mean these animals are crazy but <laughs> let's get back let's start the video probably because i feel like we just missed that <laughs> no, no. all right i'll just check the camera yeah okay it's right Hey, good stuff. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I'm telling you, it Both happened. Them have the you know what they say an average of 183,671. Yeah, they did. Both of them have the back. I was going to say, like, he got really close before they noticed it. Yeah, no, 100%. <laughs> dude, they're, they're dead. They are dead. <laughs> they are, dude, they're not quick enough to get Honestly, away. Honestly, they're lucky. I think he just, he probably either thinks that like, his friend is sleeping. Still alive, yeah. He or he just doesn't alive. know. Because he was yeah. still strolling up to them like, hey, I want to yeah. I wanna go to sleep as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> nah. they were going to hurt him, bro, they would have been dead. Dead, dead. Dead, dead. dead, dead. 100%. <laughs> When people are added to God's recently deleted folder every day. Some of those people. Yo, what the flip is going on? Will retire from life in some of the most outrageous ways possible. For example, that. vending machines and coconuts sell more real estate in cemeteries than the headliner of Jaws. But what if a can of soda was responsible for ending your way of life without you ever even drinking it? Well, Richard Molesky was the owner of the Tula Monkey Sanctuary in Mexico, and yes, a can of carbonated diabetes is why I said was. Chicago-born Molesky was a natural animal lover who worked at the sanctuary for well over a decade, where he would become close with a lot of the animals, but That's especially so a male dromedary camel whose name was never released to the public. And every morning while doing rounds, Richard would greet the hum jockey with a can of Coca-Cola. Like clockwork, Richard would show up and the camel would enjoy his favorite soft drink. Well, one day Molesky didn't have it, and from the way the camel reacted, you would think we were talking about a different kind of coke. The camel proceeded to maul him and even sat on him, which likely suffocated him. It took a rope tied to a pickup truck to pull the steroid llama off him, but as you can guess, by the time Over they did, he was... Freaking well, glass of was. coke? Of course, we'll never know exactly what went down, because it was between someone who can't talk and someone who won't. coked out camel canned a man over some sugar water Ooh, and i believe because camel right, he died for like beyond that kind of timing like they're chilled 90 of the time it's just that time <laughs> what did you say he died for like two pounds hey every penny Basically. matters <laughs> every penny matters you can't judge a man's grind that's Stop. crazy you can't judge it honestly he's he wants he knows what he wants this and so did the camel trust these animals freaking 
you, bro. They get it's used like... to something and then you don't give it to them and suddenly your life is in danger. Like, G-G. can we have a reasonable G-G. discussion about this? <laughs> Literally. No? Can you learn to speak, please, so we can talk about this? Like, <laughs> Skill issue. Literally. <laughs> Episode where someone ends the day on a newspaper. Oh my like one time goodness. in Rajasthan, India, a man was entertaining guests in his home when he realized he parked his camel outside in a brutal 110 oh, I remember him mentioning 43 this. degrees Celsius for the rest of the world. Well, apparently six hours of sun only breeds homicidal intent because as the man tried to untie the camel, the camel suplexed him and slammed him to the ground. Oh the camel my then proceeded God. to divorce the man's head from his body using his teeth. It took about 25 people and several hours just to get the camel to stop ravaging his owner's What corpse. is that? That's why you don't beef with something that chews on cactuses like candy. Because some animals are very much capable of seeking revenge, and camels are very much on that list. Oh, which yeah, shouldn't that really be a surprise be since crazy if they can just chew on cactus. to experience every human emotion, which includes putting the in vindictive. Even something like an ant can have as much of a revenge on as a human. Kidnapping and slavery aren't foreign concepts to ants, as some species will regularly invade the nests of others, slaughter the workers, and abduct the larvae of the enemy. These captive ants are forced to bring food to the... So, did the me. ants have, like, a Liam Neeson version, or what's Literally, happening? We're so lucky that we are, one, bigger than ants, and two, we're smart. Honestly, I feel like, animals. I feel like it was just designed, obviously it was designed, but I feel like our level of luck that just it's, it's 90 percent of it's insects insane. are the size that they are literally it's is insane. just ridiculous because if not even just ants pick any random insect any, if any of them was like any bigger even half our size they don't care they don't right, care. we would be struggling because they would just well, death and the funny well, thing about insects smart, is a lot of them repopulate or like they freaking like um spawn at a ridiculous rate so it's not like Is you're gonna spawn? be able to crack it's a spawn bro it's a it's a game out here though. just hold square <laughs> but you kill them you think it do you think they're done like the next just, day they're back they just be holding square they literally just hold square that's hilarious mm. all right let's go all right let's try to limit the talking now because we're only two minutes <laughs> in the video and it's 36 minute video that's hilarious their masters I'm really care for seven the food, minutes into and the even video, defend the nest the, of the very ants that kidnap them. Actually. Well, in many cases, these slave ants grow up and proceed to destroy as many of the colony's babies as possible. Pretty much, they jango a daycare's worth of the pupae of the ants that stole them. In some cases, up to two-thirds of the colony were relieved from life by the former slave ants. So like I've always said, if ants had nukes, they'd end the entire world in a weekend. And if they were human-sized, our president would have six legs. And honestly, ant society is just a video of its own. We are talking about an animal that has a species that'll turn itself into a tactical just to stop the ops from succeeding. Ant society is something out of a simulation. And with a game like the Ants Underground Kingdom, you get a chance to experience it firsthand without the added risk of kamikaze. Hey, that added absolutely, absolutely, absolutely smooth, smooth as smooth. ad. <laughs> Transition. Perfect. I didn't even realize when I started. I, was, I didn't even know what was happening until I, I got hit with it. <laughs> I, I was ready to download the app. Dude, I'm on my own ready to download. Honestly, I think he's almost sold me on it, if I'm being honest. Amazing transition. Absolutely. <clears throat> 10 out of 10. Beautiful. So, it's actually the world's first ant-themed strategy mobile game with millions of players already online. You can hatch and raise your own ant army, including a class of special ants with special abilities. You're free to design and explore ant nests for your ant militia to live in. And when you're not doing that, you get the chance to show a lizard just what an affiliated ant army can do. I or to give a man just an actual of, reason to start interesting. Playing. And if you have a... Yeah, it looks interesting, but I don't think I would ever like... I wouldn't play, because I don't play mobile yeah. games. Like, the thing I... Yeah, you know why I don't really play mobile games? The thing I don't like, and it's a pet peeve that I hate. Like, I'll pick up a mobile game, I'm like, okay, I'm going to play it. I play it for, like, a day. I'd, it's not even just add suddenly i get sent notifications of like hey you forgot to you play today you want to be sure you want to play are you gonna yeah. miss out on your bonus if you don't play today like freaking five weeks in a row and just like please leave me alone <laughs> i'm not trying to get addicted to this that's hilarious a few spiders and this game might be the best form of therapy you can get and with the cold times on the come up the ants underground kingdom has just released a brand new winter version snowfall and all this game was awarded the best game changer of 2021 by google play and with stunning graphics and enticing gameplay it's no mystery why and as a special thank you for all the support they've received the ants underground kingdom will be opening up a black friday store from november 22nd to the 27th it's only available once a year so once it's gone it's gone so to see life through an ant's eyes and to see just how screwed humanity would be if ants were in our weight class, make sure you download the Ants Underground Kingdom using the link in the description.
And if you use my personal redeem code casual ants, you'll receive 50 eggs, which you can use to cop purple special ants and other neat prizes. Now, if one of those eggs happens to be stolen, it might be lights off your entire kingdom because ants don't play about theirs. Lots of animals don't. Premeditating and executing acts of revenge. Like you probably already know that crows can remember faces and carry grudges for up to and sometimes over five years. But they'll also pass Dang. down their prejudices to their children. So you can really catch a feathery fade over something you did to profile. Wait, the flip quick. side is that crows also remember those who did right by them. So if I Yeah. I just like the idea that like after five years, like if if they haven't caught you in five, if you do something wrong to them, you haven't caught you in five years, all your debts are forgiven. They just kind of forget about you. <laughs> like, you know what? Fair play. <laughs> it's How like, oh, you managed that? to dodge me for five years. Fair play. Yeah, you. you know, hey. I'll leave you alone. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'm, I'll leave you on that one. Hey. <laughs> I forgive you. <laughs> like, I forgive can, you. But don't do it again I, though, because it might go I, up to ten. But imagine I forgive it's been you. like four years and like nine months, and they're like, "There it is, there it is." <laughs> like, oh, ah, one more month. Fib, <laughs> <laughs> so close. If I ever happen to get arrested, it'll likely be for using Wendy's fries to weaponize crows. Hey, but I'd advise yo. you not to underestimate the carnage that comes with beefing with the Black Air Force of the sky. Once upon a time, a man named Shiva Kawat attempted to save a baby bird he found near his home. Despite his best efforts, the chick didn't make it. And even though his intentions were good, all the neighboring crows saw was a past tense baby crow in his hands, and that's when violence was selected. Was For the like, next hey, three he years, he'd get air jumped every time he left his house by a homicide of crows. Like, to the point where he has scars and has to travel with a stick to protect himself against the aerial onslaught. So basically, if he would have let that baby crow expire, his quality of life would probably be higher. Life would probably be higher. Expiration of life is the only conclusion when you beef with a buffalo. I'm going to keep this brief because I've talked about them before, but basically the Cape Buffalo is a 1,200 pound John Wick. Not only will injured buffalo literally die trying to drag you down with him, just like crows, the Cape Buffalo will ride for theirs. In 2020, trophy hunter Claude <clears throat> Clay Hunts took down a massive male Cape Buffalo. But as he and his crew started loading the sole evacuated buffalo onto his truck, another buffalo from the same herd pulled up and gored him, in the groin no less, which severed his femoral artery and sealed his fate. There have been reports he's of these dead. trench cows chasing hunters into trees and then camping under the I would trees just waiting so. to hunt them from Earth's roster. If it's like not, said, I'll be it's not even just less. humans getting hunted. Since Cape Buffalo had been known to Uno reverse lions by waiting for the adults to go off on hunts just so they can turn the unsupervised lion cubs into wet spots. If elephants don't forget, then the Cape I mean, okay, okay at that forget. point, I feel and like I can understand. Just how many animals what? Because obviously, like, the lions pr pr probably, like, freaking terrorized and hunted their head for, like, years or even even if it was months and you so kind of want like, payback i'm gonna get but you kid. know but you know that but you know that the adults you can't really take them yeah. so you're gonna have to kill them before they turn into adults so you're like i'm gonna get your kid so you're like yeah it's this oh no it's kind of like that thing of like you just wait in for them to leave the house it's like mm -hmm. hey don't leave your kids on supervised because otherwise <laughs> you're night, gonna night. find them when you get back Animals are smart enough to pay you what you're owed. Like, I bet you weren't expecting Octopus to be in a video like this. Well, roll the tape. I actually wasn't. <laughs> it turns out Octopus and some fish will work together to hunt, and the Squidwards of the Sea will occasionally uppercut their co-workers. How did you get here from Camelot? I just realized. It's also believed that the octopi that have been exploited in the past are more trigger-happy with their tentacles. Of course, there's also a good chance that octopi might taste in fish purely out of spite, but punishing someone for someone else's crime technically still counts as revenge. Also, cephalopods can be just as spiteful with each other. Like here, where a female octopus got tired of a male trying to mate with her, so she proceeded to throw silt on his face. And octopus are more than smart enough to aim their malice at people. As researchers will tell you, sometimes octopus will purposely oh, take aim and squirt aim at that? the very scientists studying them. Not uh, only that, but they'll often have specific people that they like to pick on. One octopus in an aquarium in Dorset, England, got into the habit of super soaking anyone who would walk past his tank. Another octopus in a Santa Monica Pier aquarium flooded the place after she disassembled a valve in her tank, sending <laughs> 200 gallons of water rushing onto the exhibit and office floors. And Otto the octopus flashed you know, his little finger to humanity when he squirted water on a nearby spotlight, right. short-circuiting the entire aquarium's electrical system. Workers would fix it in the morning, but since Otto would do it at night when no one was around, it took a while for him to be found out. And of course, there was that time a YouTuber tried to live stream oh, herself yeah, an octopus, but the only thing he fed her was hell. hell. So yeah, octopus have the intelligence to be on timing. But at least with them, Bro, I would be so Wait, scared. She, she tried to eat the octopus, and it just stuck yeah, to her. it's it is stuck to her face. <laughs> That's hilarious. I can't, did that... she try to eat it? I think she just like put it on her face, and then she tried to take it off. 
No, because oh maybe. Oh wait, no, no, no. She, I remember. Yeah, she did try to eat it, and then <laughs> he was like, "Watch this." He stuck to her face. He was like, "Watch this." You want me? Because you, you know, me. like in um, like Japan, where they be eating like live animal and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, she tried to do, and she, uh, the octopus was like, "No, not today. I'm sorry. Like, no, I'm not. Watch this. I'm not ready to die." <laughs> Literally. Like, you can have me. Don't worry. I'll stay. Image or a suction cup to the face. Things get a lot worse when you piss off the next animal. Because tigers are by far the most vengeful animals on the planet. Like the lengths they'll go to get even is what movies are written about. Like oh, in 1997 like, when Poe is that what the lack of pie is about? Shot a tiger and then stole part of its kill. His mistake was leaving. Is his... that what the movie The Life? Of... I, I've never actually watched that. Oh movie yeah, I've seen that. I didn't. I didn't watch it to be fair either. But <laughs> I seen the thing in it. The trailer. Like the so. lengths they'll go to get even is what movies are written about. Like in 1997, when poacher Vladimir Markov shot a tiger. Wait, oh, this is the one I was talking kid. about. His mistake was leaving a tiger with a pulse. That tiger would get him back, but it wasn't in the heat of passion like the camel. Not. Did you just cut me off? Mid the tiger would stake out Markov's cabin, destroy anything. No, what do you mean? You definitely did, but it's fine. No, it's fine. What do you mean? I, no, I see. I see what we're doing here. What are we doing? Arrow, I see what we're doing. Uh, what, what, what are we it's doing? It's fine. Just press play. Just press play. Mine. Yeah, it's like I'm haven't you been the one that controlling the freaking videos this entire why are you trying to set me up for like controlling <laughs> the videos? You've been the one controlling the video this entire time. Oh, I yeah. have to be the one to no, tell no, you no, to no. pause it. What do you mean? I can put my hand up too. <laughs> what do you mean? Can play the video, man. Eat a passion like Thank the you. camel not. This job was ah. the tiger would stake That's out so Markov's cabin and destroy anything that had the hunter's scent on it. About a day or two later, Markov would return to his cabin where he would be ambushed by the same big cat. That story ended around the same time Markov did, after he was dragged oh. into the bushes and never came out. Yeah. In another story, a poacher named Baby I'm got put sure to a tiger before. in March of 2016. Why is that date important? Well, only a month before, he had murked the female tiger in the same area, leading many to believe that the tiger that packed him up was actually the mate of the cat he had killed. And if you need more proof that a tiger taking a personal leads to cuts on the census, the tigress at Champawat literally subtracted 436 people after one hunter severely injured her. But don't think these stories only happen in Asia. On Christmas Day 2007 in the San Francisco Zoo, three men effed around and two found out. <laughs> As for the third, well, three you can't get a life lesson if you don't have a life. The three men had decided to taunt Tatiana, a 400-pound female Man, Siberian to stop tiger. Doing that. Well, right. They learned two things that day. One is that a motivated tiger can jump oh, well over 12 my feet. God. And two, the 12 and a half foot moat wall wasn't to keep the tiger in, but to keep people out. Yeah. Because apparently out was always an option for Tatiana. He just Blue Super Mario jumped wanna... out of the enclosure and put the beats on all three men, maiming two of them and turning the third into a chalk out line. So yeah, a wild tiger might be the last animal you want to find out with in India, but a close second might be monkeys. Especially since monkeys and dogs have seemingly gone to war against each other. War is debatable because allegedly the monkeys massacred the dogs. According to residents, some monkeys even took to snatching puppies, carrying them up to a roof, and then letting gravity catch the body. And if you believe oh, the story, wow. the all started after a pack of stray dogs mauled a baby monkey, and the monkey mafia took it very personal. But we actually don't know for sure what caused this mass puppy homicide. Primates will often feed on the ticks living on animals of different species. So it's possible the monkeys weren't trying to get revenge, but were only after the ticks on the dog's fur. But there's also a chance that Cloudy with a chance of puppy was 100%. Oh, no. Especially since that seems to be a signature move for them. Earlier That's this year so in India, a troop of monkeys jumped the family and snatched their four-month-old son, who they proceeded to throw off a three-story building. In a separate attack, monkeys broke into God, a home. Monkeys learned that gravity monkey. works, and they were like, bet. This is <laughs> yeah, about literally. Just using it. Literally. <laughs> They're like gravity oh my say God. less fly <laughs> jumped the family and snatched their four month old son who they proceeded to throw off a three story building in a separate attack monkeys broke into a home and dragged away a two month old who had been sleeping next to his grandfather the same monkeys ended up drowning him in a water tank bro, imagine the experience like you you go to bed with your son. Is, bro. you you wake up in the middle of the night you hear something like you're hearing your son crying or something or and you just yeah. hear shuffling you wake up, you look to, I don't know, like, look to your left, and you just see your son being dragged out the house by a monkey. I would, I wouldn't even know what to do. Like, for, like, a couple of seconds, I'd just be there, like, am I am I still dreaming? What the fuck what the is happening? No, dude, look at the monkey's face, bro. Look how scary that is as well. That's what I'm saying. In the, imagine that in the night, in the dark, like, with yeah. maybe, like, a little moonlight or something. When I, wait, see that? when I wake up, I'm saying fair play. 
I'll wake up, look to my left, and be like, just go back to sleep. Like, yeah, fair play. Hey, I can't help you, son. I'm you sorry. You got caught. <laughs> I'm be like to my son, hey, you got I caught. I failed you, son. Hey. Don't worry, I'm going to treat the next one better. Don't get caught. <laughs> Literally, don't get caught. That's all I can say. <laughs> That's messed up. Yeah, monkeys can be malicious when they want to be. But anyone in Japan will oh tell you that. Because right now, a Japanese city is currently under attack by a gang of Japanese macaques. <laughs> Since July, nearly 60 people have been attacked and injured in the city of Yamaguchi. And the monkeys tend to go after babies, small oh, children, it's and the, the elders. It's the monkeys that... The population. And the thing is, the traps... I think those are the monkeys that are in Japan. They like have like a hot spring thing around it. Like they have like a... They they basically do take like hot spring baths and stuff, and it's kind of like an attraction in Japan. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. I think I saw it on one of um Kana's vlogs and stuff. It's not that cool. The monkeys are trying to kill people because the monkeys don't seem to be after food. They're just doing it. <laughs> and after and yet, that, while after, this could be a coincidence, after also a, a hard day of killing people, I'm sorry for the pausing, guys. After a hard day of killing people, they you know they need a little hot spring bath once in a while. So yeah, kind of... you know recuperate the Regroup, muscles. Literally. <laughs> the elderly you know the light work of the population and the thing is the traps they set aren't working because the monkeys don't seem to be after food they're just doing it and yeah while this could be a coincidence there's also a good chance this is revenge see monkeys and really primates in general have a sense of fairness and will lash out when they feel like they've been wrong and it's like that's my words now monkeys, scientists found that when given unequal portions of food the monkeys would seem to target and punish the individual that got the unfair share it actually makes sense for a social animal to actively discourage inequity in the group but when a monkey feels cheated, it becomes a much more dangerous monkey. In another experiment, one capuchin was given a grape while another was given a cucumber. Despite previously being happy with the cucumber, the monkey seemed to get offended when he saw his peer get a grape and refused to take the cucumber. He even started to become aggressive with his handlers. So yeah, primates don't like You know what I'm thinking like, is like, you know, me, you know that guy that like um, dubs over animal voices, you know those videos? That would uh, be such a funny one to dub over, like, it's like, hey, oh. you gave him a grape? And I, oh, like, yeah, 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 with yeah, the, yeah. You know the one with the African accent? Um, yeah, 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 accent. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like, hey. That would be such a funny one yeah, to yeah, dub yeah. over. <laughs> ah, oh, you gave him a grape and not <laughs> Give me that now. <laughs> Give, ah, Tulu. <laughs> Cucumber. The monkey seemed to get offended when he saw his peer get a grip and refused to take the cucumber. He even started to become aggressive with his handlers. So See yeah, primates don't like feeling slighted. Mm. If you don't believe me, jealousy and a birthday cake got this man mutilated by a pair of chimps. So I can't tell you exactly what started the monkey war in Japan, but I can tell you they probably have a reason. Speaking of reason, probably. Yeah, I, I kind of had Elephant. to talk about that. So you probably know the story, but recap, oh, yeah, I remember an elephant this. traveled over 100 miles from a sanctuary and trampled a 70-year-old woman collecting water. Only for that same elephant to show up to her funeral and I form I a desecrate her this course this time in front of her entire grieving family. Now, I know I say this a lot on this channel. It's become one of my popular phrases. But this time, someone literally got turned into a hashtag. Now, a lot of people have claimed that this woman was involved in poaching, and this was just the elephant playing equalizer. I don't want to say that because we don't know for sure, and there's a good chance the woman was just at a worse place at an even worse time for the elephant to show up and turn her into a train. Mm. But here's what we do know. Asian elephants often come into close contact with people, especially farmers, and conflicts often get them injured or put on their shirt. We know Asian elephants often get exploited for logging, entertainment, and poaching, so they have a reason to hate anything here. And we know an elephant doesn't. But that guy that jumped off the car the had the right time. idea, bro. The other so ones, if the elephant carried on, was stupid. And poaching, so they have a reason to hate that was the woman. And we yeah, know the woman was an small. elephant doesn't forget. And it wasn't too long ago when an elephant in Thailand ripped a grown man in half and stood over the soul evacuated body for hours. After that same man forced him to haul logs in the intense heat. So we know elephants ain't quick to forgive either. So with this story, we'll never know for sure if there was cause. But how fast do the elephants run? Way. 100 miles and a guest appearance at a funeral is one hell of Probably a Probably quicker than us. But that's going to do it for this video. For more consistent content, be sure I'm to follow my I'm trying to see if they can like, keep up with the car. Nah, to nah, watch they videos can't. before I post them, kindly consider becoming a patron on Patreon. Also, be sure to check out my book, 100 Animals That Can Oh, yeah, he has a book out now, bro. He's himself. coming. But bro, he's that, doing bro, bits. Hug your mother. Nice. And you know what? I Actually, your father, it. too. He might not say it, but he'll appreciate <laughs> it. Don't cross an elephant, because he might just traumatize your entire family. And I'll see you in the next one. In a bit. Peace. Well, no, no not to be saying in a bit to him. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Ah, that was a good video. I, was was a, I don't know. I still don't know how he started with camels, ended up with and elephants, him. but hey, it was a good journey. So <laughs> he does what he does. He it's, does, it's, what the, he does. It's, the, it's the journey that counts, not exactly. the destination. Exactly. Um, thank you guys for watching with us.
we enjoyed the video. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope we didn't pause too much and annoy you guys. Yeah, honestly, but, but I feel like if because I think we like to discuss stuff, and I feel like if we don't, we're just kind of gonna forget yeah, our point sometimes. So we have to yeah. pause or speak over the videos, which exactly we've we'll had try. a discussion with the guy, and he's promised not to do that anymore. So literally. obviously. That so can't be hoping, a thing anymore. We hope he holds up true to his promise. Exactly. But, um, so. Thank you guys for checking in, and we hope you um, enjoy the video. If you drop a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. If you're still watching, we appreciate you. If you like yeah. that, we still appreciate you. Thank you. Of course. And see you in the next one. In a bit. Boom.